Happy Sunday, everyone. Today's tutorial will be on how I create the little circle that I could put my jump rings through or my keychain loops. So it's that right there. You can use any shape. As you can see, Cricut has a bunch of different shapes. And yes, I'm using Design Space. Uh, the machine I use is a Cricut Explore 1. So for those of you with the maker or the errors, I don't know if Cricut Design Space is the same. Um, I would suppose it is. So anyways, let's get to it. Um, for those of you who are wondering how I created this, this is a keychain or it could be a charm or whatever you want to use it for. Um, I do have another tutorial. It's called Card Stock Keychain Making um, and it's designing it step by step. So please check out my other videos. I also have videos on how I got the shading or shadowing behind the actual text. So this video is going to be very short. It's just basically how I got the circle behind my design. So I will use one of my shadows from this one and I'll just show you really quickly what I did. Let's get this to go further down. Best thing about design space is that you can go back if you've made a bobo. Let's go back up and drag her back down. All right. Just so that we're not distracted by everything else on the screen. Here we go. And I'll just make her bigger for the sake of this video. So once you have your silhouette for whatever design it is that you want to use, you choose a shape. Now, let's for example, I want the circle. I've chosen my circle. What I will do first of all is I will duplicate it. So now you have two circles the exact same size. I will resize it. to the size that I think will be good for a keychain. And that looks right for me. What I will do is move it out of the way here. I will take the other circle and I will make it even smaller so that it will sit directly in the center of my larger circle. Now for some, that'll be a big enough hole. I like it to be a little bit smaller. And there you go. So now you see the circles are overlapping each other. What you will do is you will highlight both of them. You will go down to your bottom right hand side. So right down here. and you will click slice. You just have to click it once. Now what you will see is that your circles have been cut. The reason why you have two small pieces is because you have to remember there were two circles here. Then you could just delete these. Next thing you do is you will move this circle because now it's been stuck together to wherever it is that you want your loop to be. Now you don't want it above. You want it to overlap because you have to remember this is the silhouette. This is the back of your keychain. And once it's there, you will highlight everything and you will weld it. And there you go. Now for me, it's still sitting a bit too high. So you go backspace it. And I would move it down a little bit more. And do the same thing and just weld it. 
and there you go. So it's very simple. It's basically the same procedure if you want to add it to the side or if you want to change the shape so you can add it to the side and have it that way. It's totally up to you. You can even change the shape. We'll move the circle over. So for example, if I want to use the heart, I would do the same thing. You have your heart, you duplicate it. You resize. For me, this is still a little bit too big. Make it a little bit smaller. And see, I'm putting it on the side. It's just an automatic reflex in regards to how I design stuff. Certain shapes I like in different positions. See, once again, you take the second heart, you reshape, resize it, I should say. You put it on top. That still might be a bit too big. There you go. I would. Oh, my bad. You have to not really have them too close to your original design because when you try to highlight, it will highlight everything. And then you don't want to splice. I still find that little heart to be too big. Oh, yes, this is way better. Again, just highlight what it is that you want to splice. Hmm. You slice that. And remember, you're always going to have two small pieces. Yes, I see it's offset, don't worry. You can see my middle heart is not aligned perfectly in my big heart. This is just for the tutorial. And even then, it doesn't make all that much of a difference because once you attach it and then weld it, you don't notice it because you will have your design on top of it and there you have it so very simple not too hard to do if you do have any questions or comments please feel free to post them below um, like subscribe and turn on the notifications and uh, i'll be posting some more videos probably by the end of today for the clip art i will have a link to where i purchased my clip art and that's basically it. So have yourself a very blessed Sunday. Stay safe.